just the one. No. That's sad. I was pretty disappointed when I saw the results. And I contacted my agency to let them know. They told me to take another test, but really early in the morning. So I did. And the results were negative as well. So I told them. And they told me that a lot of times at home pregnancy tests give false results. So they said that we were just gonna wait for my HCG blood test appointment which is a blood pregnancy test. So I had my appointment and I'm not pregnant. Sadly, the embryo didn't stick. The first thing that came to my mind when I got the results was the intended parents and all those women and couples out there trying to conceive and how it must feel every time that they get a negative result. <sighs> After getting the results, my doctor instructed me to stop on medication and my agency gave the news to my intended parents. And we have decided on trying again. This means that we will be having another transfer. My doctor already sent me my new calendar, which means that I have the new transfer date. I will be starting medication soon and ultrasound appointments and blood test appointments and all that. I just gave the news to my girlfriend. They emailed me the calendar. It is May 10th, Mother's Day. No. So, I have... First, I have an appointment on Monday, an ultrasound blood test. Then I have another ultrasound blood test appointment on the 11th. And then on the 15th, I have a blood test. And transfer is Monday, May. Yeah. Cool. So, so you need to request the days off. The days to go. I don't want to give out the transfer date just yet. But I do hope that you guys stick around and keep following my surrogacy journey.